What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to take a look at the Crucible Quartermaster's new stock as we all know the dark below is here, it is here, it is here, it is here, so pumped for it and with it the Crucible Quartermaster brings a whole new selection of legendary weapons and in this video I'm going to check them all out and see what they all offer in terms of beastly ality. Yeah. <laughs> but before we get into the video, can I just state if you guys are new to my channel and do enjoy Daily Destiny content, be sure to subscribe and if you could help this video have a like, I do appreciate the support. Let's just go see what this bad boy has got. Okay, so we have a whole new selection of Dark Below weapons. I do believe these are only available, obviously, to the people who've got the Dark Below. I may be wrong and correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments section. But we're going to start with the Do Good Air 5, which is an auto rifle. Uh, radar stars active while aiming down this weapon's sights. This weapon goes more accurate the longer it's fired. Uh, it costs 150 Crucible marks, and you need a Crucible uh, accommodation and a Crucible rank 3. I'm guessing that's going to be the same for everything, so I ain't going to keep repeating that. But let's just take a look at this bad boy. Oh. Wow, it's got a deal on the front of it. Damn! Got a deal on the front of it. Okay, so we've got the Red Dot ORS, we've got the Red Dot ORS, and we've got the Range Lens RLS3. Uh, being the better ones, probably going to be the middle one, middle one, sorry. Then we've got Persistence. This weapon goes more accurate the longer it's fired. We've got one of five damage upgrades. We've got Snapshot. Aiming this weapon is incredibly fast. We've got Perfect Balance, and we've got Single Point Sling. Switching weapons faster. And we've got Quick while Aiming. And then we've got the Third Eye. Red Eye is active while aiming down this weapon sights. I don't know, this weapon looks quite the uh, beastly ass weapon. I mean, look at its rate of fires right the way up. It's got a good magazine size of 29. Impact, um, not too great. It's got an okay range. Stability seems alright, but it's got perfect balance as well. Uh, this is one I'm definitely looking forward to actually seeing. Moving on, we have the, the For the People. This is an auto rifle. Uh, the bottom half of each magazine causes an additional damage. This weapon goes more accurate the longer it's fired. Let's just see what this bad boy looks like. Uh, not bad, not bad. Okay, it's got uh, quick draw IS, it's got the red dot always, and it's got the range of lines, it's got the cycle of the same sights, it's got persistence, this weapon goes more accurate long it's uh, being fired. Uh, one of five damage upgrades, it's got field scout. Ooh! Then we've got perfect balance, and then we've got hammer forged, improved range and accuracy, and glass half full. The bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage, and a further four damage upgrades. I like the colours of these weapons as well, they look pretty slick in my opinion. Moving on, we have the one, two, three. I can't even pronounce that. The SYZ uh, YGY pulse rifle. Let's have a look. Okay, what's this bad boy look like if it wants to load? It looks like every other pulse rifle in the game. We got exactly the same sights. I'm guessing. Yes, we have. And we've got spray and play increases the reload speed of this weapon when the mag is empty. One of five damage upgrades. We've got single point sling. We've got speed reload, and we've got perfect balance. A grenade echoes with this weapon reduce the cooldown of your grenade and the four damage upgrades. It just looks sexy. I don't know what it is about it. They just look beastly. Pulse rifles look way better than they actually perform. If you um, count out the stranger's rifle and the bad juju, because they're beastly. Then we've got three little words, another pulse rifle. Okay, and basically the same shit. Then we've got head seeker, body shots with this weapon increase the precision damage for a short time. Uh, one of five damage upgrades, we've got snapshot, we've got high caliber rounds, and we've got feet stuck. A third eye, radar stays active while aiming down this weapon's sights. I'm, I'm seeing that a lot of the, these legendary weapons have got way better mods. Then we've got a, I can't even, what's that say? The Surtery me 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 What the hell? Okay, uh, by the way, if I didn't say a crucible accommodation or accommodation is something you will get to actually ranking up your crucible. So I wanted to get it to rank six to get one of them. It's going to take a shitload of time for me to actually get all of these, which I will attempt to do, as you guys know. Now this scout rifle, let's just get into it and see. Wow, it looks crazy. Uh, same three sides. Just in reverse order, I don't think. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe so. Uh, outlaw precision kills with weapon drone. Automatically increase your reload speed, one of five damage upgrades, we've got high caliber rounds, hammer forge, and we've got armor piercing rounds, then we have firefly, precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode, I love that on a scout rifle, and a further four damage upgrades. Then we have beeline trauma, uh, which is a scout rifle, and it's got uh, same three sides, <laughs> it's got roll jogs, uses the first of this weapon's recoil. Then we've got one of five damage upgrades, we've got snapshot, hammer forged and armor piercing rounds, and we've got mulligan. 
Uh, missing a shot is a chance to turn ammo directly into the magazine. I don't really like the look of that. I don't know what it is about that one. Just don't look like the colours look a bit off. Then we've got TFWPKY 1969. So what this bad boy? Oh, it looks badass. I love hand cannons. Um, we've got hang, uh, steady hand IS. We've got sure shot IS, and we've got quick draw IS. We've got return to sender kills as weapon. Grant bonus ammo directly into the magazine. One of five damage upgrades. Armor piercing runs. Fred Magwell, a field scout. And Mulligan missing a chance. They uh, missing a shot. Sorry, has a chance to return ammo directly into the magazine. Further four damage upgrades. There's something about hand cannons I always like to try out, and just that's probably be, that should probably be the first thing that I buy. And then we've got a actual fusion rifle called the Trolley Problem. What the hell? <laughs> Where did they get these names from, man? Uh, let's see. It looks sexy in blue. This is an arc damage weapon. Red dot ORS. We've got sure shot IS, and we've got red dot ORS one. We've got double down on spawn. This weapon occasionally gains additional ammo. Not bad. One of five damage upgrades. We've got single point sling, uh, accelerate coils, which I always look for and will always use in the fusion rifle. And then we've got enhanced battery, which basically gives it a bigger magazine size. We've got who's next? A kill the final round in the magazine increases reload speed and further four damage upgrades. I uh, like the look at that fusion rifle. Actually, looks pretty sweet. Two for the morgue. Badass name. Uh, this is a void damage weapon. Looks a lot like the Invisible Hand M7. Uh, it's got Smooth Ballistics, it's CQB Ballistics, and it's got Soft Ballistics. It's got to look in the chamber. One bullet in a magazine causes a considerable bonus damage, or causes considerable bonus damage. Then we've got one of five damage upgrades. We've got Quick Draw, uh, Hammer Forge, which improves range, which I would use on a shotgun. And then we've got Single Point Sling, and we've got Crowd Control. I love this mod. Kills with this weapon, grant bonus damage for a short time. Nice. Uh, then we have Y09 Longbow Synthesis, which is a sniper. Let's have a look at this beastly ass look. Oh, look at that. Fucking look at the length of it. Um, this is a solar damage weapon. It's got the Hawkeye SLR15. It's got the Long View SLR20. And it's got the Ambush. Now, this is the scope. It's all about the Ambush. This is the one I will go for every day. Then we've got the spray and play increases the reload speed of this weapon when the mag is empty. We've got one of five damage upgrades. We've got lightweight when how this uh, weapon grants plus two character agility. We've got field scout, maximum ammo capacity, which is what I use. And then we've got skip rounds, which basically uh, ricochets off surface, just blah, 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 blah. We all know what that does. Then we've got Mulligan Mission and Shot has a chance to return ammo directly into the magazine. And a favor for uh, four damage upgrades. Now the stats on this bad boy look pretty beastly, to be honest. Don't look too bad. Um, can't wait to see this bad boy in action. Then we have uh, Against All Odds, which is a song, old school song, which is a solar machine gun, uh, actualized ballistics, uh, linear compensator, and then we've got fuel choke. We've got persistence, this weapon goes more accurate the longer it's fired, one of five damage upgrades, we've got single point sling, field scout, and quick draw, grenade here, kills this weapon, reduce the cooldown of your grenade, and then four damage upgrades. Not feeling that, to be honest, I don't know why. Um, probably will be one of the last ones I buy. Uh, what the hell does that say? Valedictorian, Valedictorian 944, rocket launcher. Uh, fuck it, that looks like a monster. It's a void damage rocket launcher as well. Confined the launch, uh, we've got smart drift control and we've got hard launch. Uh, grenades and horseshoes, badass rockets uh, from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets. One of five damage upgrades. Quick draw, this weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. We've got heavy payload, increases warhead blast radius, and we've got snapshot aiming. This weapon is incredibly quick or fast. Clan, cartridge, reloading this weapon has a chance to grant a larger than normal magazine, which is a, always a great mod for a rocket launcher. And we've got a further four damage upgrades. But that is what we get in terms of fresh stuff for the dart below. Uh, can come, someone confirm? I, actually, I don't even know. I, you ain't gonna be able to buy these or see these if you ain't got the dark blow DLC. I mean, that would be pretty pointless. But can we buy the old weapons still? I mean, can I go back and buy the old weapons, the ones that were here before the dark below come out? I'm not sure. If you guys know anything about that, let me know down below in the comment section. But we have got quite a few badass looking weapons here, especially the two auto rifles. I'm liking the look of that hand cannon, the fusion rifle, the, sh the shotgun looks pretty beast too. 
and the sniper, but we're just going to have to wait and see. It's going to take a lot of grind in this game to rank up your crucible, to buy the accommodation, to actually get one of these. And your crucible marks also, it's going to be crazy, but the grind is going to be real, and I can't wait to get started. But guys, what do you think? Let me know down below in that comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. There's a few other vendors as well, which I will cover in videos to come, but stay tuned for them. Thanks always for stopping by, and peace out until next time. Peace!